Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is again your mom cat, your super mom. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please subscribe now and do not forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa bagong video ko. Let's start our lesson for this fourth quarter. The first topic in our fourth quarter is determining the relationship of the volume between prism and pyramid and other 3D figures. To start with, volume, according to the book of 21st Century Mathletes, published last 2016, volume of a prism is the amount of space inside the solid figure and it is measured in cubic units which means it tells you how many cubes of a given size it takes to fill the prism so imagine that we have here this figure the rectangular prism as you can see it is composed of cubic units so in this first figure in the first figure it shows the first layer of this rectangular prism. So this is the first layer, and the first layer has six cubes, and we have here four cubes, and it is composed of eight layers. So therefore, if we are to compute, kung kukunin natin ang volume nito, kunin muna natin kung ilan ba yung bumubuo sa first layer, and that is six times four, which is 24 cubes, dun sa unang layer. And kung bibilangin natin yung kabuuang bilang ng cubes na meron ang rectangular prism na ito, mumultiply lang natin sa 8. So it has 192 cubic units. Therefore, the volume of this rectangular uh, prism is 192 cubic units. So this is the volume of this figure. Now, let's take a look at this figure. Let us fill the rectangular prism with what are using the pyramid. And remember that the prism and pyramid we are going to use have the same face and height. Look at this figure. We're going to, to put water from uh, to the rectangular prism. Sasalina natin ng tubig yung rectangular prism gamit yung uh, pyramid wherein magkasukat sila ng Face and height. Let us watch this simple video. Tingnan natin kung ilan ba. Look at this video. Meron tayo dito rectangular prism at saka pyramid na magkaparehas ng sukat yung kanilang base at para sila ng height. Sasalinan natin siya ng tubig. So this is the first uh, pyramid. Ito yung unang uh, ibubuhos natin. As you can see, isang, isang puno ng tubig yung ating pyramid. Isasalin natin sa prism. That is the first pyramid. So as you can see, halos one-third lang yung naisalin na. Parang wala pa siya sa kalahati. So ito yung kalawa. The second uh, pyramid. Mapupuno kaya siya kapag dalawa na yung naisalin natin. Remember, magkapares ng sukat yung base nila at saka yung kanilang height. So still, ayan, malapit na mapuno. Nakadalawa tayo pero hindi pa siya puno. So let's see. Dagdagan pa natin ang isang puno pyramid. Kung yan ba ay sobra, kulang, or sakto. So remember, ikatlo na yan. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Actually, may space pa. Oh. Pwede pa natin isalin yung tubig. Uh, 
Okay. All right. So exactly, ilang pyramid ang kailangan para mapuno yung prism. It takes three pyramid. Now, from that video, the figure shows that if you fill the rectangular prism with water using a pyramid whose base and height is the same as the given rectangular prism, it takes three pyramid to fill in a rectangular prism. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ng tatlong pyramid para makapuno ng prism kung ang base niya at saka height ay magkaparehas. If the volume, kung ang volume ng ating prism is 192, kung itong prism natin ay 192 cubic units, then the volume of the pyramid is 192 divided by 3. Ibig sabihin, para makuha mo yung volume ng pyramid, iti-divide mo sa 3, which is equal to 64 cubic units. Vice versa naman, kung ang unang ibinigay, if the given pyramid is 64 cubic units, kung ang unang ibinigay na volume ay yung volume ng pyramid, if it is 64 cubic units, therefore the volume of rectangular prism is 64 times 3 equals 192. So, ganun lang yung relationship nila. So, ibig sabihin, ang prism, katumbas siya ng tatlong pyramid. At ang tatlong pyramid, katumbas siya ng isang prism. But remember, if they are base and they, uh, they are base and their height are the same. Now, let's go to the next slide. What if we have to pour water in a cylinder using a cone of the same base and height? What if ito naman yung gamitin natin, cylinder at cone? So, igaano kaya karaming cylinder? Oh, I mean, gaano karaming uh, cone ang kailangan para mapuno mo ang isang cylinder wherein their base and height are the same? Let's watch this video. So, ipinakita na pares sila ng base. Magkasukat yung uh, circular base nila. This is the first uh, cone with water na isasali natin doon sa cylinder. Alright, that will be the first. So, we need more water. You can do this activity at home. Pwede nyong gamitin, gawin ito. But make sure na kapag gagamit kayo ng solid figures, yung sukat niya ay magkaparehas. That will be the second cone. So we need more. Let's see if this last cone will fill exactly the cylinder or sobra ba siya o kulang pa yung ikatlo. Ayan. Alright, exactly. Kailangan natin ng tatlong cone para mapuno yung cylinder wherein their base and height are the same. So therefore, it takes three cones to fill the cylinder. The cone and the cylinder have the same base and height. Let's have an example. Find the volume of the cone inside the cylinder. And the cone and cylinder have the same base and height. So, tingnan daw natin to Kung titingnan niya yung figure, para sila ng height at para sila ng base. The volume of the cylinder, kung yung cylinder daw is 288 cubic units, ba Ibig sabihin, kapag cylinder at saka cone, mas malaki yung volume ng cylinder. Kung 288 cubic units daw yung cylinder, ano daw yung volume ng cone? So, para makuha mo yung volume ng cone, to find the volume of cone is 
volume is equal to one third of 288. Kasi kailangan mo ng tatlo, di ba? Dapat hatiin mo sa tatlo yung volume ng cylinder. Or 288 divided by 3. Parehas lang yon Times one third or divided by 3. Alin man dyan yung gamitin nyo ay parehas. Therefore, the volume of the cone is 96 cubic units. So, ganoon lang siya. Kadali. Kapag kukunin mo yung volume ng cone, divided by 3. What if, let's have another example. What if we're going to find the volume of the cylinder? Cylinder naman yung kukunin natin. Look at this figure. Ang kukunin natin yung volume ng cylinder. Volume of the cone is 78 cubic units. So, ibig sabihin yan yung volume ng cone. So, mas malaki yung volume ng Cylinder, kasi it is 3 times. The volume of the cylinder is 3 times the volume of the cone. Therefore, to get the volume of the cylinder, in this example, we have volume is equal to 78 times 3, and that is 234 cubic units. What if we have a sphere in a cylinder? All right, let's watch this video. All right, and we have here a sphere whose diameter is the same with the diameter of the cylinder and their height are also the same. Let's observe what will happen. So as you can see here, one sphere is equivalent to two-thirds of the volume of the cylinder. That's exactly two-thirds. The volume of the sphere is two-thirds the volume of the cylinder. And the sphere and cylinder have the same diameter and height. Now let's have an example. Example, find the volume of the sphere inside the cylinder. If the volume of the cylinder is 42 cubic units, therefore, to find the volume of the sphere, we have 2 thirds times 42, or we have 42 times 2 is 84 divided by 3 is 28. Therefore, the volume of the sphere is 28 cubic units. Let's have another example. Let's find the volume of the cylinder if the sphere is given. The volume of the sphere is 51 cubic units. Therefore, the volume of the cylinder is 3 times the volume of the sphere divided by 2. Therefore, to get the volume of the cylinder, we have 51 times 3 divided by 2, and that is equal to 76.5 cubic units. So we have here 3 times the volume of the sphere divided by 2. That's it for today, and shout out kay Diane Marie Colonna. Thank you for watching. Sabi niya, hi ma'am, shout out po sa next vlog. Thank you, thank you. Hope you have learned in our video lesson. Thank you, and that's it for today. Hope I have uh, uh, helped you for this lesson.